Hello, this is Tova Bergsten, an MD PhD student at the University of Illinois at Chicago College of Medicine. This video is part of our Survivors Advising Scientists educational program, a bi-directional educational platform meant to connect our communities and increase scientific literacy and engagement. Our goal is to bring everyone to the table for scientific discussions related to cancer science and therapies. This is video number five, Cancer Hallmarks, part one. There are many types of cancer that all have distinct properties and characteristics. However, roughly 10 characteristics have been identified in a majority of cancers, and these have been called cancer hallmarks. These hallmarks allow cancer cells to stay in the body and spread disease. Each hallmark is a complex topic, but we'll briefly cover the most well-known hallmarks in this video series. Typically, it is thought that these hallmarks can accumulate in a pattern, starting with changes that allow cancer cells to grow unchecked, followed by changes that allow cancer cells to be better at surviving when they should not. The first hallmark we'll discuss is somewhat unique and covers the ability of cancer cells to change their cellular makeup to allow the persistence and progression of disease. We suggest viewing video number four called When Things Go Wrong to understand more about this complex topic, which we'll cover only briefly here. This hallmark is called genome instability and mutation. The genome is all of the DNA that makes up the contents of a cell and causes its functions. Cancer cells can develop instability of the genome, which allows their DNA to become changed or mutated. This ultimately gives them helpful properties that normal cells do not have. We can think of this as our cancer cell car having a mutated gas pedal, which is extra sticky, or brakes that don't work, which make the cancer cell car go faster and farther than the normal cell car. The next set of hallmarks we'll discuss focuses on cell growth and division, which are a critical part of normal, healthy cell life. However, cancer cells can have hallmarks which help them escape the normal mechanisms that control growth and division. These hallmarks allow the growth of cancer cells to become unchecked and go haywire. One of these hallmarks is the ability to sustain proliferative signaling. Most normal cells in the body are made to stop growing or proliferating when they have reached their full potential. Even when normal cells reach this point, cancer cells can keep proliferating. To demonstrate this point, let's say this car is a normal cell and the bottom car is a cancer cell. To stop the cars from moving, normally they would get a red light. However, the cancer cell gets a green light so it can keep growing. Another hallmark in this section is the evasion of growth suppressors. Normal cells can have their growth stopped in multiple ways. Cancer cells have developed ways to escape these methods and keep growing when they should not. We can think of this as our cancer cell car developing the ability to escape or turn off red lights so that it can continue to drive and grow. A similar hallmark is the ability to enable replicative immortality. Normal cells reach a point where they are no longer able to multiply or replicate and they die. Cancer cells though, have the ability to grow without ever reaching this point and are basically immortal. We can think of our cancer cell car in this way as only ever seeing green lights never being told to stop driving or growing. The last hallmark in this section is deregulating cellular energetics. Normal cells use energy in very specific ways, but cancer cells can use energy in different ways that help them grow faster, multiply more, and even take nutrients from nearby normal cells. We can think of this as our normal cell car using just one type of fuel, while our cancer cell car can use more fuel that might be more efficient and gives it a growth advantage. Thank you for viewing video number five. Please be sure to check out this video's part two up next. We'd also like to thank all those involved in the creation of these videos, including the University of Illinois Cancer Center and its patient brigade for providing feedback and shaping the direction of these modules. We invite you to reach out to us if you have any questions or feedback you'd like to share. Thanks again.